This is part one of my review of the Elastomask Pro Elastomeric N95 respirator. And it's a respirator that was designed from the ground up to be for healthcare workers. It's got the simplicity of an N95 mask, but it's got the elastomeric seal of an elastomeric mask. And it's combined both of those things into one mask in a way that's got some advantages and a few disadvantages. The most notable thing about the mask that you'll note right off the bat is that it's all one piece of silicone, except for the filters that are on the inside. That means you can sanitize it with the same chemicals all over the mask, except the filters, which you can't do with other elastomerics that have to be disassembled to be sanitized. So that is a great thing. The adjustability in part two, you'll see whether or not that's an issue. Um, they said they have tested these straps 100,000 times and have a video backing that up. So overall, I've been impressed with the seal of this mask and uh, over the utility of it. We're gonna find out exactly how well it fit me. Your mileage may vary, fits very individual, but I think the way the mask is made gives it a very good chance of sealing well on your face and giving you good results. Now, to prove how well it works on my face, I have this uh, port account, particle count mask fit testing machine. And what it does is it samples air with this blue tube from inside the room, and then it samples air from inside the mask with this tube and compares the two. And that tells us how much cleaner the air is inside the mask. To pass a fit test, the air needs to be 100 times cleaner, which is a fit factor of 100, and that's a total inward leakage of 1% or less. Okay. This is a full eight exercise OSHA fit test with different exercises to test the mask when it's used in different ways. Normal breathing, deep breathing, and now head side to side because that actually adjusts the way the straps fit on your head. The movement of your head tugs on the uh, strap that goes around your neck and the same thing happens when you go up and down. Now, next one is one of the hardest ones, talking. It changes the way your face fits inside the mask and it really stresses it, as you can see from the score. The grimace is a smile or a frown. The test is to see if the mask resets after you've done that. Bending over, the weight of the mask can pull it away from your face. And finally, back to normal breathing. Then we're gonna get the overall score after all of these individual scores. Wow. 389 overall fit factor, um, outstanding score for an N95 level mask. It fits really well even through all those different exercises. This mask works really well for what it's intended to do. Uh, I, I have to say I'm impressed and it's really breathable. So um, this mask worked so well, even though it's really breathable, the N95 filtering is outstanding for an N95. Um, I didn't even have to break out the, uh, the N95 uh, cheater test that's used for port accounts to help pass N95s. So you may have noticed that after the fit test, when I took the mask off, I had a red mark over my nose. The, uh, the mask is a little bit snug on me. It's a large and it's sold for people with an 11 millimeter under the chin to nose bridge distance or greater. And mine is 11.8, so I should be well within the fit. But it pinches me a bit. I, I think, you know, it could be my high nose bridge, not just the height but I'm not sure. Either way, I still got outstanding performance from it. It sealed really well and the breathability was really good. So I don't have any hesitations about recommending this as a high performing N95 elastomeric mask. Um, you don't get quite that good a seal with this usually. Um, this is gonna last longer than an N95 mask, but it is expensive. This is an $80 mask, which is not out of line with other boutique masks like Flow Mask and Envo Mask but there are some other considerations to keep in mind. And one of them is that it takes these internal filter pucks that cost $20 a pair. And that's not necessarily expensive, except for one aspect, which is that once you remove them from the mask, the NIOSH instructions say that you can't put them back in. And I assume that's because you don't want this dirty mask filter that's uh, dirty on this side to go back through your newly cleaned mask. Uh, I don't know the exact reasoning, but that means that even though you can clean this externally whenever you want, as often as you want, if you want to clean the entire mask inside and out to take advantage of this all silicone body that lets you do that, you have to buy another set of $20 filters. Now, a mask like this that's got these different parts might be more inconvenient to uh, reprocess, but you can take these external filters off, 
clean the mask body, and put them back on without having to buy a new set. So that is one thing to consider. Uh, we'll get into more details about the Elastomask Pro in part two. We'll talk about speech intelligibility with demonstrations of multiple different elastomeric masks. And we'll also uh, test the elasticity of the straps and a lot of other details. So please tune in for that. If you're interested, you can subscribe and click on the little bell icon, which I can't believe I'm saying like just a typical YouTuber, but it is true. It will give you a notification if you're curious. So uh, I have to say that I, I, I'm glad to have this mask available to me. Wish it fit me a little bit better, but I'm still really impressed with it.